Hello T3 Arena. <coughs> Hello T3 Arena. This is Lazy Cass and Gorlo. The last few weeks have been quite busy, and we know the community has a lot to say. Today we'll do another Q&A and answer some of the most asked questions. Yeah, without further ado, let's start our Q&A. We heard you loud and clear that getting Vincent from the arcade is not an ideal experience. Unlike other heroes that can be quite easily unlocked, Vincent is pretty much locked behind a paywall now, which is not ideal for free-to-play players. We heard community feedback and we want to do something about this. Yes, we plan to create more events so you can obtain free star coins by grinding in the long run. These star coins can be used to exchange for arcade tickets. Or, if you're not interested in getting Vincent, you can also use them to purchase skins. Now we expect Vincent to still cost quite a bit of star coins to unlock. To strike a balance for different players, it will probably take a long time to grind and unlock a legendary character even with free events. We don't yet know how these events will look like in the long run, but we'll definitely share more details with each update. Yeah, T3 Arena is a very challenging game to develop. It takes about six months of development for a character to be launched from the concept stage to playtesting to 3D modeling, animations, etc. We wanted to express that we're not trying to be greedy. In fact, up to this point, we're still in the process of trying to cover our development costs. Meaning, unlike what you may think, T3 Arena is still not profitable. Yeah. Moving forward, we'll continue to work hard to provide high-quality new content while making sure that both paying and free-to-play players can enjoy the game in different ways. Now, apart from the seasonal updates, we're simultaneously working on something really important, and that's 5v5. 5v5 is even more challenging to develop than normal T3, and we've been working on it for over a year now, and we still got more work to do. Several important changes are in the works for 5v5. First of all, all the stats and hero balancing will be reworked. The playstyle of some characters could be completely different from what you're used to. This may even include completely changing how the weapon works for certain heroes. Mm. And apart from this, a second active ability will be added. In 5v5, you have a total of three different abilities to create combos. We also need to create new, larger maps. Right now, we're focusing on the control game mode for new 5v5 maps. Now, all these changes are still under testing. For those of you who joined us in Early Access, you'll be very familiar with the lab mode, where Payload Escort and Clash were in. With 5v5, we plan to bring back lab mode and include 10 adjusted heroes in the mode. Yes, we're still months ahead of launching it for testing, but we can't wait to share with you more details when we're ready. Mm -hmm. Please, either remove Clash entirely or replace it with Payload Race. We are very receptive to making changes to Ranked Mode. Replacing Clash was one of the many possible changes. However, since the community was so split about this issue on whether to replace Clash with TDM or Payload Race, we've decided to exercise caution and keep it as it is for a bit longer option to switch characters inside training room. Very good one. We totally agree. In a future update, we'll try to make switching heroes easier inside the training room. Need more ways to earn T-Gems besides from the battle pass. Yeah, star coins were introduced in Season 3 and they can be used interchangeably with T-Gems. As we mentioned, we'll release more free events to obtain star coins in the future. This will be the main way for free-to-play players to obtain premium currencies for skins and more. More maps! On the way, we are working on a new control map, codenamed CP06. This will be the biggest map to date as we continue to work on 5v5. Since we have a full 3D environment, it will take a little bit more time for us to create and playtest these maps. So, please be patient. Show us who is spectating us when we play the game. Good suggestion. In a future update, we'll show the number of people spectating your match. A cancel out button to cancel the ultimate. Good one. We also need to think about whether all outs can be canceled or not, and we'll implement it in future updates. Add an appear offline and region lock option. Thank you for the suggestions, Myra. The option to appear offline or turn off requests is also coming with future updates as are the improvements to spectator mode. However, 
Manual region lock is something that we have decided not to implement right now. The reason being that we hope to guarantee the fastest possible matchmaking time for everyone. Do not add more ranked tiers. Hmm. Our goal is to prevent queuing times from getting too long. So, in fact, with Season 4, we've decided to postpone adding more ranked tiers. As rank mode grows and more players catch up, we'll be adding more tiers, with the highest possible being Superstar in the future. We'll keep ranked tiers as they are until we're confident that adding new tiers will not further increase queuing time. More African American heroes. Yes, diversity is an important consideration when we design our heroes. Not just in the sense of origins, but also body shapes. For example, Kazama and Jabali are confident in their own rights, and we didn't want to make them all skinny or muscular or anything like that. Heck, we even have aliens in the mix, so... Did you know that Diggy is actually born in space? And his father is an alien? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the, uh, there's definitely gonna be more kinds of characters in the future, so stay tuned. Balance changes to Hunter and Hualing. Mm. As of making this video, Hunter's flare charge has already been nerfed. He no longer has the ability to fully charge from the start of a match. In regards to Hualing, we nerfed her quite a bit during Season 2. For example, her hitbox has become much smaller since launch. Right now, we feel like she's in a sweet spot, but we'll be keep looking at how things go. Stay tuned to our patch notes in case more balance changes come. Give Sindri a voice, please! Yeah, fun fact, Sindri actually had voice lines before, but we had to rework it since we still haven't found the right voice for her. But yeah, her lines are written by me, <laughs> and we'll update them as soon as we get the right voice. Mm -hmm. And that's it for today's Q&A! Yay! If you want us to answer more of these questions, remember to join our Discord server. Yeah, your feedback means everything to us. Mm, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Catch you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.